Uh, let's try to wrap up now. There are a few items of interest and announcement that I want to bring to your attention. We have three reports from the American College of Medical Genetics and Genomics, American Society of Human Genetics, and the National Society of Genetic Counselors. These are a list of their recent activities uh, that are relevant to their societies. If you want to know the latest of what's going on in those organizations, I recommend those reports to you. Uh, I'm going to read the uh, conflict of interest statement. And again, this refers to the applications that you will be reviewing in the closed session. You must leave the room when the applications submitted by your own organization are being individually discussed. In the case of state, higher education, or other systems with multiple campuses geographically separated, own organization is intended to mean the entire system, except where a determination has been made that the components are separate organizations for the purpose of conflict of interest. You should avoid situations that could give rise to charges of conflict of interest, whether real or apparent. For example, you should not participate in the deliberations and actions of any application from or involving your spouse, your child, a recent student, a recent teacher, a professional collaborator with whom you have worked closely, a close personal friend, or a scientist with whom you have had long-standing scientific or personal differences. The NHGRI staff will determine the appropriate action based on recency, frequency, and strength of such associations or interests, either positive or negative, and will instruct you accordingly. In council actions in which you vote on a block of applications without discussing any individual one, this is the on-block action, your vote will apply to any application from institutions fulfilling, your vote will not apply to any applications from institutions fulfilling the criteria noted above. Please sign the conflict of interest and disposal of confidential materials form, which have been provided to you, and they will be collected at the end of the meeting. So um, that's the end of the open session. I have just one more thing that I would uh, like to say, and that is that the September meeting will be introducing a new crop of program analysts to you. Um, that means this summer roughly half of them are uh, departing. And uh, these are special people. Many of you have probably had interactions with them. Lots of phone calls, lots of documents. Uh, we rely on these people. Uh, they do a lot for us and operate in the background. I'm happy to tell you they're going off to medical school, they're going to grad, grad school, they're going to law school, they're going to genetic counseling programs. It's an impressive group. And for those of you that are still in the audience who are leaving us, I'm not going to attempt to name everybody, but would you please stand? Jackie. Thank you all.